All right, today we're going to dive into a programming fundamental, regular expressions. Regular expressions, or commonly known as regex, are a powerful tool to find patterns in text. They're basically the equivalent of using Control F on a Word document, except they're much more precise and powerful. This can come in handy while editing code, verifying user input, or scraping the web. The list really goes on, and that's why I want to give you a solid intro to regex today in this video. Regex are a challenging tool to master, but this tool will get you started and oriented. Today we'll go through a quick tutorial on how to validate emails and replace a string using regex in Python. Regular expressions and their symbols are universal across all programming languages. There are many symbols that can be used to find patterns in text. I'll include a link to a regex cheat sheet in the description below, as well as to the code in today's tutorial. Let's see how a few of these regular expressions work in real time. When I press Control F, I get the find word prompt. If I press Alt R, I can now search using regular expressions. Using Control F like this is a good way to make sure your regex patterns work before you try to implement them in your Python script. When I type backslash lowercase d, I am searching for all valid digits, so any number between 0 and 9. You can see that everywhere a number occurs, it's highlighted. Conversely, when I type backslash capital D, I'm now looking for the opposite, or non-digits. Now you can see everything but the numbers are highlighted. It's time to jump to our first example, verifying a user's email. Using regex to verify a user's entered an email correctly is commonplace. This is a very useful application because if a website has a sign-in or sign-up page, then it's extremely important to make sure that the user is inputting a valid email. The regular expressions package in Python is called RE, so let's import RE. With our package imported, let's write the regular expression pattern we are looking for. Since email accounts follow a pattern, we can use a combination of regex symbols to only accept correctly formatted emails. We know that the first part of an email can consist of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. So we can specify that as such using a regex syntax. The brackets allow us to specify that we are looking for the characters in a given group. This group starts at the beginning of the word and will go until we encounter an at symbol. The plus sign after the brackets means we are looking for any combinations of one or more of these characters. Since email addresses are issued from many domains, we'll specify that we are looking for any combination of one or more upper and lowercase letters. All that's left is verifying that there is a top level domain. We can look for a dot by adding backslash and period to the pattern. Similar to domain names, we'll just look for the presence of valid characters, since there are so many top level domains used in email addresses. Let's just account for some of the most popular ones in this example, like .com, .edu, and .net. Just add the following to the pattern so it makes sure the email ends in a .com or .edu or .net. Great, now let's make sure this works with an if statement and the search function from RE. First, let's get a user's input. Let's see if a string from our specified pattern is found in the user's input by calling re.search. We can use the pattern argument for the pattern we just wrote and the string argument for the user input. You can scroll down in the Kite Copilot for example, implementations of regex patterns. So if the pattern is found in the user input, we will print out valid email. Otherwise, we'll just print out invalid email. Good, now let's test our script. Let's input a correct email. Great, it correctly verified that email. Now let's give the script an invalid email. Perfect, it detected that the email is missing the period. I wanted to take a moment to tell you more about Kite, which is an AI coding assistant that's being used in this video. Kite is a free plugin for your code editor that uses machine learning to save you keystrokes while you're programming. If you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code and has a feature called intelligent snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in the script. The window you'll see on the right side of my screen throughout the video is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on your cursor location. The best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it from the link in the description below. Let's look at one more application of regular expressions. In this example, we will be looking at how regular expressions can be used to quickly replace a specific part of a string. This is extremely useful when making changes to a large database where you may have thousands of strings you need to change. Let's pretend that we need every phone number entered into a continuous string of numbers, no hyphens. But we want to keep the hyphens that are in words. Like before, we must first write the regular expression pattern we are looking for and test it. Phone numbers come in a predictable format, so we can write a regular expression to identify them in our database. 
each set of parentheses resembles a group. So from left to right, we have groups 1, 2, and 3. But now we need to write what we want this pattern to turn into. Let's preserve the groups but remove the hyphens. Each backslash number represents a group, so our new pattern is concatenating the three groups together without the hyphen. We put the R before the string in order for it to be interpreted as a raw string. Let's just take input from the user like we did in the previous example. And then let's use re.sub to replace the hyphens with whitespace. As seen in the kite copilot here, we're using our pattern variable for the argument pattern, and our new pattern variable for the argument repl, and our user input variable for the argument string. And let's make sure we print out our result at the end. Let's try this out. There we go. You can see that all hyphens were removed from the phone number. So that was just a sample of what regular expressions can do. This is a vital skill to learn in computer science, not only because of its usefulness, but also because it shows up in almost every language. Thanks for watching this video on regular expressions in Python. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more Python tips coming your way. And finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. The link's in the description below. See you next time.